Good morning, Penny Panthers. I'm Addie. And I'm Ash. Today is Friday, February 7th, B-Day. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to Lila Wright, Carter Johnson, and Marta Van Canta. Happy weekend birthday to Sam Riker and Hallie Moore. Happy birthday! <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Mr. Urshan with another Kindness Corner. Um, I got some friends here from Mrs. Johnson's class and they came to me a while ago about um, relating to the penny practices and taking care of self, taking care of others, and taking care of school. Um, this is an interesting one because we're talking about the most recent wildfires in Australia. And I want to have them talk a little bit about um, just what's been going on in Australia. I know it's happened a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, but still taking care of others and taking care of the animals um, over in and, and the people in Australia. Ian, you want to share a little bit about what your project was all about in Ms. Johnson's class? Sure. So we're trying to wait, raise awareness for the um, animals. One of them is already on extinct, and we don't want that to happen to any others. And we're just like trying to help with the fires and like these. They have been getting better, but they're still pretty yeah, so all over the news, they've shown a lot of wildfires around the country of Australia, and just especially along the coastline, but um, very popular habitat for one of our furry friends here, the, the koala. So, Henry, you want to tell a bit about uh, just your research with koalas and how it's affected their, their uh, species? Yeah, so it, like Ian was saying about um, the Australia wildfires, they have been getting better, but they're still raging across Australia, and uh, the koalas have been affected very badly. Uh, one third of the koalas are uh, dying, so they are disappearing, and they are very cute. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah. So, we're trying so to raise them. this could, this could be this is say we'll call him cuddles. cuddles. So cuddles. poor little cuddles. Maybe he yeah. he's around all of his friends. And all these wildfires. They like to live. Where do they mostly live? In, I mean, they mostly in trees. trees. In trees. So obviously trees are very prone to being you know caught on fire. Um, but the wildfires have raged into those fires, so they've been going to the ground. Unfortunately. Passing away. Yeah. Um, there's another animal. What's the name of the animal that's, you said something's become extinct, Nathan? The dunarts. It's a dunar. The dunarts. Dunarts. Yeah. Do you know a little bit about that, um, Nathan? The dunarts were already in danger and they were already trying to use them back to help. There's already, like, they're already kind of endangered. Hmm. So, so then, endangered means there's not very many of yeah. them. But now if they're dying out, potentially they could, they could be completely extinct, which means we will have no more dunarts. Yeah. yeah. It's scary. Okay, so there's a lot of relief going on worldwide to help support the wildfires in Australia, and these boys have done a great research project about how they can do that. You'll see a slideshow that we're talking about right now, and at the end there's uh, some um, some links in there if you'd like to donate or talk to your family. Um, I know a lot of uh, people across the world have donated to help support um, the Australian wildfire relief. So thank you, boys, for bringing attention to this. Again, it's not always about taking care of self, others in school here at Penny, but looking at other people and animals that are affected worldwide. So thanks, boys. Awesome, make it a great, a great day, day at Penny Chalk.